The possibilities of coping with stress depends on the situation and characteristic of the person and the mutual adaptation of the person and the situation. You can't avoid stress. If we treat stress as a challenge and consciously face it, we can strengthen ourselves and learn something valuable because often stress creates development opportunities. Coping styles. Each of us has our own style of coping with stress. It results from our personality, experience and stressful situations. There are three basic styles of coping with stress. The first one, task focus style, is a style in which a person focuses on taking active steps to solve the problem. People using this style are characterized by a tendency to make efforts to solve the problem through cognitive transformations or attempts to change the situation. The second style is emotional focus style. This style is primarily characterized by the desire to reduce emotional tension. People using this style are characterized by lack of taking any specific actions, tendency to focus on themselves, on their own emotional experience such as anger, guilt, tension. Such people tend to wishful thinking and fantasizing. The third one, avoidance focus style. Person focuses on substitute behaviors according to the principle that any additional activity is better than getting involved in the problem. Choose not getting involved in the problem. People using this style are characterized by a tendency to avoid thinking, experiencing and stressful situations. This style can take two forms, engaging in substitute activities, for example watching TV, or seeking social contacts, for example partying. Techniques of coping with stress focus on changing the way of thinking. Naturalization of irrational thoughts. The intensity of stress depends on the interpretation of the events that meet us. This interpretation reaches us consciously or unconsciously in the course of internal dialogue. If what we say to ourselves is covered in reality, we can constructively approach the solution of the problems. If it is irrational, saturated with criticism or anxiety or colored with harmful messages, for example, from a family home, we must first influence how we think about ourselves and the situation before we face the challenge. Control worst case scenarios. Experiencing pessimistic visions of the future is something that probably all of us have experienced in stressful situations. Although their goal is to prepare us for various eventualities, worrying about the brings more harm than benefits. Separating from them, however, brings only short-term relief, because if we do not properly deal with them, they will come back with double power. Constructive use of worry to solve problems. Emotions cannot be divided into good and bad. They all serve as something. The goal of anxiety is to show our areas that requires refinement in order to enjoy the preferred vision of the future. Irrational anxiety usually takes the form of worst case scenarios. Rational anxiety can be used to deal with the problems it addresses. If anxiety overwhelms you too much, use your favorite relaxation technique to lower it. Social support. In some stressful situations, an important role in fighting with stress is played by identification with the group to which the person belongs. People surrounded by a supportive environment and having support in other people are much less exposed to stressful events or modifies their perception of stress levels. Each technique used in stress management should be tailored to the type of stressors and our personality. We should find specific methods that will help us get through the difficult situation because each of us has a different set of them. Let's move to the next module where we will talk about creativity.